Hi guys, Hayes family here. Welcome back to our channel. Together we are going to do another Thermomix TM6 cooking edition. Stay tuned, don't hit any button. We'll be right back. <laughs> So I've already switched the uh, machine on, the Thermomix TM6. So I'm gonna go directly to the search menu and search for the recipe. It's in German since we live in Switzerland, but as we said in our previous videos, you can put the language settings in any language that you want. So this is the recipe that we're using. As you can see, I just put one word and then it brought me many recipes containing what I need but uh, I'm gonna choose the one that we're gonna cook today that's Bienen that means pears in, in, in English uh, Bienen in German means pears in English Bohnen means green green beans and uh, and ham no not ham yeah it's a bacon 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 yes so I'm gonna click that it's touch screen and uh, what I need are eight pieces of bacon, that's 150 grams, uh, 240 grams of green beans, and then I'm gonna need three pears, then I'm gonna need 500 grams of water, some pasta, I'm gonna need 750 grams of uh, potatoes, and 100 gram of cream, fresh, half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and then some four petersilian. So those are the ingredients that I will need. So that's the petersilian, that's how it looks like. And that's how the meal is supposed to look like at the end of the process. And that's how it's, we're gonna serve it and that's how we're gonna eat it. it looks very delicious and yummy. Actually it's one of my favorite meal. It's very simple and very tasty. Ingredients, uh, these are the things we need. So the pears, those are three pears cut into uh, pieces. Pieces. And uh, here we have the spice powder. Here we have the salt. Here we have the pepper. And here we have the branches of uh, parsley. And here we have a cream fresh cheese. And here is water that we need for the cooking. Here are the potatoes, we've already prepared everything and uh, these are the green beans wrapped up in uh, with the bacon. So this is how it looks like, looks yummy already. So I'm gonna directly start with the cooking process. This is the Varoma container, this is how it looks like. So we're going to put the green beans wrapped up in the bacons. This is process number one, so that's how it looks like. Next, we're gonna use also the Varoma base. So that is how the Varoma base looks like. So we're gonna put it on top of the Varoma container. Process number two, we're gonna use the Varoma base. So that's the Varoma container. So the Varoma base comes on top. So that's how it looks like. So the Varoma base comes on top and on top of the Varoma base we're going to put the pears that are already prepared. So the seeds from the pears have to be removed. So next we will need 500 grams of water which we're going to pour inside. So that's 500 grams of water. And uh, as we pour the water the scale is weighing, it's very precise. So we're gonna put 500 grams of water. Okay, 500 grams, very precise, just like a pro. Next, we're gonna need uh, the spice powder. You're gonna put it inside there. Next, 
we're going to put the simmering basket yes the simmering basket that's how it looks like the simmering basket so it's going to go there just like that next we're going to need 750 grams of potatoes so i'm going to open the simmering basket and put the potatoes inside so the potatoes are coming inside the simmering basket we're going to need 750 grams so the scale is weighing okay so we're going to continue next we're going to put the varoma container uh, together with the varoma base on top so i'm going to close the simmering basket and put the varoma base on top of it but we'll, we'll need the lid first of all oh yes sorry i'm going to put the lid don't forget the lid when you're putting the setting together so now everything is on top this is it this is the lead, the Varoma lead. We cover it all together. So we are going to steam the potatoes and the pears. So everything is going to be steamed. So the food is going to be cooked through steam. Next, we're going to uh, rotate the knob until the green point over here, the green marking, this as you can here. see right there. And it's gonna cook for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So as it's cooking for 30 minutes, one can do other stuff or prepare other stuff. So everything is cooked through the steam. So the flavor of the food remains inside the food. That's why the food comes out so tasty. And as you can see, we don't need any other stuff for cooking, nor any other utensils. There's only this one machine doing everything. And uh, everything is cooked inside and you don't have the house smelling of food so the flavor and the smell remains inside the food and uh, you save yourself a lot of utensils and also it saves energy so as you can see everything is being cooked with the steam the 500 grams of water that we put inside is the one that is boiling up and steaming up the food so that's how it looks like when I open it a little bit like that. So now the steaming is done. So I'm going to press continue. So I'm going to remove the Varoma and put it aside. Brother Lois is going to remove the Varoma and put it somewhere on the side. Okay, so that's how the pears look like after the steaming. So those are the green beans wrapped up on bacon, wrapped up with bacon and our potatoes inside here so that's how the potatoes look like it's very fresh and soft and soft one can uh, use the spatula with the help of the spatula one can remove the simmering basket and also put it aside next we're going to uh, empty. empty up the thermomix and uh, put the rest of the liquid inside a bowl. So we're gonna pour that one inside. It's very hot. This bowl, careful. So that's that. So next step. So we're gonna put the 250 grams of uh, the liquid that we just put inside here uh, into the thermomix itself. So we're gonna press Tara for it to weigh precisely. So we're gonna pour 250 grams of that. there so this one is going to prepare the sauce that we're going to eat with the food okay so that's 250 grams next so here's where we need our 100 grams of uh, cream fish cheese so that's the cream fish cheese so we're going to need 100 grams so we're going to pour that one inside as well is what we need so seven grams and then we have what we need okay so 99 grams is not so bad i think i can live with that so precisely 100 grams just like a pro so we're gonna need 150 grams of the potatoes i'm gonna press tara for it to weigh precisely so tara 
so 150 grams of the potato we're going to put inside of the cooked potatoes so i think we can yeah just like a pro 150 grams so next so we're going to put 50 grams of the steamed peas peas pears pears sorry pears 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 so 50 grams is what you need so sorry guys that's the german influence of my english so 50 grams of pears actually we only needed 50 grams but oh, sorry we can reduce a little bit then we only have 50 grams if you add two or three grams more it's not so bad but okay 46 47 grams 48 okay not so bad so we continue so we're gonna need a half teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. we're gonna add that one inside so next quarter teaspoon of pepper next we're gonna mix everything inside we're gonna put the lead of the tamo mix on top of the tamo mix gonna clean that up so we're gonna put everything tight and then we continue. So it's gonna mix up everything inside. So I'm gonna rotate the knob till to the green marking, and then it's gonna mix everything for five seconds. So if it's red here, if it glows red, it means it's hot. So you have to be careful. So continue. I'm gonna open up everything. So let's show up. So we're gonna remove that one. This is a measuring cup as well. As you can see, it's written here 50 ml and 100 ml. So in case you want to measure other stuff, you can also use it as a measuring cup. Mm -hmm. So we continue. So we're gonna continue. I'm gonna rotate the knob until the green marking for four minutes. So it's gonna cook for four minutes. So like it's saying here in German, without the measuring cup, the measuring cup, we continue cooking it. So now it's cooking at 100 degrees. Very that means hot. it's very hot. So that one is done. So we're gonna press continue. So we're gonna put uh, the four branches of oh, pasta. Parsley. Pasta. No? Parsley. Parsley. Not, not, pa not pasta, parsley. Parsley. <laughs> In German it's called Petersilien. 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 Mm -hmm. Here are my four branches. So those four branches, we're gonna add them inside the mixture. So initially everything looked... This is the soup. Good, so now it looks better. So that's the sauce. Now we're going to add to the meal. This is gonna add up some flavor to the sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we press continue. So I'm gonna put the lid on top. And the measuring cup as well. The measuring cup as well on top to put everything tight mm -hmm. so that the flavor doesn't escape away. So continue. So I'm gonna rotate the knob until the green marking. And it's gonna cook now for 20 seconds at a temperature of 95 degrees. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can see, uh, Lois has just increased it gradually to eight. So now that one is done. So what he's saying, Zose Abschmecken means taste the sauce. So it even tells you to taste it and see if it's of your liking. So the machine also tells you to taste it. Imagine that. So that's how it looks like. Looks very yummy. And lots of steam. So cool. So Lois, would you mind tasting it? Yeah, I'll put it in a small bowl. So continue. Now we're gonna pour that one fast in a bowl. Just like in a, it's almost just like in a, in a five-star hotel, no? Mm -hmm. Straight from our kitchen. So taste it. Wow. Taste mm, it. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. So at the end of the process, this is how it's supposed to look like. So this is how we're gonna serve it. And it's just gonna taste the way it's supposed to taste. That's the end product. Looks very delicious. Can't wait to taste it. And uh, this is straight out of the Hayes kitchen. I think uh, my next job will be a cook. As you can see, I've managed, or we have managed to cook this. Looks very delicious, as you can see. I think I'm gonna open up a restaurant. Yes, and the Thermomix will do everything for me. So we're gonna taste the meal. Um, I'll be the one to do the tasting. How is it? Mm. Tastes very good. Sauce. It is very good. So I'm still gonna do the tasting. I'll be the one doing the tasting all the time. In all these vlogs, I'll be the one, the tasting guy. <laughs> so Lois can watch me tasting it. Mm. Looks very, very delicious and it tastes the way it looks like. So guys, that was another vlog. Another cooking edition with the Hayes family. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the, the notification button and share with your friends. And if you have any questions or if you want us to cook anything with the Thermomix TM6, just uh, let us know through the description box. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Let me continue tasting you. Relax. Relax.